University, a time in most students' lives where they'll swap home-cooked meals with mum and dad for late night partying and takeaways. This is all typical and fun of student life, but with the average student gaining £11 on average during their time away from home, we here at Winnell wanted to look into what can be done to stop this happening. Suicide is the biggest killer in men under the age of 45, and in 2014, men accounted for 76% of all suicides. The Boys Do Cry campaign has been sweeping social media, and now the University of Winchester is getting involved. The Student Union are now contributing to the campaign with a series of online posts and videos. The Boys Do Cry campaign is more than just a social media trend. Here at the University of Winchester, they're hoping it can save lives. Victoria Quinn, Winchester News Online. Good morning, Santos! Today, hundreds of Santas took to the streets of Winchester to raise money for local charities, Naomi House and Jack's Place. Yeah, so we provide uh, respite, emergency, end of life and bereavement care. So the money we'll raise now will help us to f provide that care to children and young adults right the way through the Christmas period. Because my brother is part of Naomi House. Today, Winchester truly entered into the Christmas spirit, dressing up and giving to get others. This is the second Santa fun run Hampshire has seen this year. I'm Victoria Quinn, Winchester News Online. It's 12 o'clock and you're listening to Winchester News Online. I'm Victoria Quinn. Donald Trump has told people demonstrating in the streets against his election not to be afraid of his presidency. In an interview with CBS News, he announced plans to take a strong line on key social issues such as abortion and gun law, but has said he's fine with same-sex marriage. The health think tank The King's Fund says major five-year plans for the hospital services have been drawn up without any meaningful involvement from frontline staff or patients. The fund's chief executive, Chris Hamm, says the decisions already taken are starting to generate concern and anxiety from many quarters who haven't been consulted. And Christmas is just around the corner. Thousands of tourists are expected to visit Winchester this festive period to take advantage of all that the city has to offer. The Winchester Guildhall has been renovated for the occasion and 450 new parking spaces are being freed up for the rush that is expected. Winchester Tourist Information Team leader Sarah Hartfield shares with us some of Winchester's upcoming festive highlights. There's lots of things happening in Winchester um, over the Christmas period. Um, in the tourist office itself we have Father Christmas Grotto. The cathedral have got lots of concerts taking place. Um, obviously there's the market, there's the ice skating rink, there's always something going on every day of the week pretty much. That's all for now, it's two minutes past twelve. Your next bulletin is at one o'clock.